Hello and welcome to this Excel learning series video. In this first video, I am going to help you understand how to add numbers manually, use sum function, use auto sum, and use a quick view inside the status bar to look at some of the calculations without even having to use any of the functions or formulas. Find average, find minimum and maximum of a series of numbers. There will be no formal introduction to Excel workspace or the ribbons or the menu system. However, we are going to cover this time to time as we move on into the course. To begin, let us select the cell right below the total. And to start calculating anything inside Excel, you need the equal to sign. Now, to add numbers manually, I'll have to select the cell press plus and select the second cell I need to add plus third one plus the fourth one I am just using my mouse button to click on them now I press enter on the keyboard remember this is good only if you have few numbers but if you're working with the large numbers or a very big data then trust me this is not an efficient way of calculating or doing the sum of your numbers so let me get rid of this and show you how to add numbers using a sum function you need to press in equal to type in s u m you will see excel gives me a hint about that function and it also gives me a brief introduction about that function while I have that function selected using my mouse arrow key, I will press tab on the keyboard to complete that function. Now I need to drag across that row in order to add all the numbers from quarter 1 to quarter 4. I can begin from quarter 1 and go up to quarter 4 or I can begin from quarter 4 and go up to quarter 1. Either way is going to work the same way. Now I press the close parentheses and press enter on my keyboard it adds all the numbers now while holding the mouse button down on the drag handle I will drag this downwards to fill the sum of all other rows I can also double click on the drag handle to fill these series I also need to show you how to do auto sum now, I will simply select all the columns, that is quarter 1, quarter 2, 3, 4, and the total column. And here on the top, under the editing group of Home Ribbon, I will select the Auto Sum button. Simply click and see the magic. It does the calculation for all the four quarters and the total of the total column. Now to find the average you need to press equal to and type in average function. Select the numbers by holding the mouse key down you need to simply drag across. Now close the parentheses. Remember every function in Excel needs an open and closing parentheses. Now press enter. Let me tell you one another quick way. If I hold the control button down and press enter, see the selection of that column of that cell is not moving down. Otherwise, if I simply type in average and without holding the control button down, I press enter, it will move down. This is a quick way of uh, you know using editing methods inside Excel. Now I will select that cell. This time I am going to double click on the drag handle. Excel fills all other cells for me. Now I need to find out the minimum and the maximum of these set of numbers. How do I do that? I press equal to and type in min function. This function helps me to return the, you know, to find the smallest number from a series of specified numbers. So I need to simply specify that I you know specify all the four quarters close the bracket hit enter now drag the handle down now you can see I have the minimum numbers from each set of countries you know from Canada I have this number that is that belongs to quarter 
3 I believe yes similarly I have the minimum number from all other areas now to find out the max I have almost similar method but instead of min I'm gonna use max and select the quarters all four close the bracket and hit enter on the keyboard double click I have the maximum from these four quarters now before we end the video let me show you one last thing that I was talking about how to look into the calculations without even having to insert the formulas or the functions in these set of numbers I need to find out the minimum all I have to do is select those numbers and look inside the status bar do you see that I have the average I have the count I have the minimum maximum and the sum of those numbers I can add more information by right clicking inside the status bar uncheck or check the numbers you want or the, the calculations you would like to see here similarly if I have to look into the minimum of all the four quarters from every country you can simply select all of them and you can see the minimum is 1335 and the maximum is 9909 the sum is 298 294824 and there is the average as well so this is how you work with Excel basic functions I hope you will find this video helpful to perform day-to-day -day operations inside Excel do not forget to subscribe to continue your learning in Excel with Sayyid thank you for watching have a nice day